Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to graph uh, two very popular piecewise functions uh, that show up an awful lot when studying functions. Uh, the first one uh, is called the greatest integer function. And to graph that, first we're going to graph, we're going to hit y equals, and then we're going to click on the math button because the function is found in the math menu. We're going to click over to number and then we want option 5. All right, so we're looking for the function that says int. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm just going to give it the parameter x. All right, so this is the greatest integer function and what this will do is for any input x it will output the greatest integer that is less than or equal to x. So if x is a decimal, it's basically going to shave the decimal off um, and then round and then whatever that integer is. So if x is 2.7, uh, the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 2.7 is 2, so it'll output 2, but it'll do that for 2.7, 2.6, 2.5, and so on. Uh, if x happens to be negative, uh, it's still going to round it to the left on a number line. So if x is negative 2.7, the greatest integer that's still less than or equal to negative 2.7 would, in that case, be negative 3. And just to show you what this graph looks like, because it's not entirely obvious, click on graph and you get this sort of like step formation. right? And the reason is, uh, for any of the values between uh, x equals 2 and x equals 3, uh, 2 inclusive, 3 exclusive the output of that function will just be 2. Right? So everything is 2 for that entire interval until it gets to 3, in which case it jumps up to 3 and so on. All right, so that's called the greatest integer function. There is another piecewise function uh, related to this, and I'm going to graph that as well. And it's called uh, the least integer function. Uh, and basically what that does is it does the exact opposite. For any input x, it outputs the integer that is the least but greater than or equal to the input x. Now there's no function for doing this, but there is a way to get it on the calculator. Uh, if we go negative math num 5 and then our input instead of x is now negative x or the opposite of x, this will be uh, our least integer function. Uh, some of you may know these as different names. Uh, the integer function is often called the floor function. The least integer function is often called the ceiling function. Uh, but if I graph these, notice I get a very similar behavior. Right? For something between 2 and 3, now if I look for the integer that is the least but still greater than or equal to any of the numbers in that interval, 2.7 would get rounded up to 3. And so now I get a slightly different what we call a step function, right? And that's how you can graph those two functions on a graphing calculator.